Welcome to Gene Clips. My name is Nina Mickle, and I'm a registered dietitian at Children's National Hospital. Today, we're going to learn about how our body converts fat into energy. The foods that we eat are made of three macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Macronutrients are used to build our bodies and provide the energy we need to function. Fat is an essential part of everyone's diet. Fat makes up the membrane surrounding our cells and allows our bodies to absorb and transport important nutrients. Your body also stores fat under your skin and around your organs for insulation and for later use. Most importantly, fat gives us energy, energy to grow, exercise, and play. Before fat from the food we eat or our body stores can be converted to energy, it must be broken down into smaller pieces. The fats we eat come in different lengths, long chain, medium chain, and short chain. Most of the fats we eat are long chain fats. Think of fat as a strip of paper. Your body has specific enzymes that act as molecular scissors to cut that strip into smaller pieces. Each scissor or enzyme can only cut the strip at a certain length. With each snip, more energy is created. This process of snipping fat into small enough pieces for energy is called beta oxidation. Individuals with disorders of fat metabolism have a defect in the instructions to make one of these enzymes. This makes the body less efficient at converting fats into energy. Medium chain fats enter the snipping pathway at a later step. In doing so, they can get past any faulty scissors and provide energy to the body. During periods of fasting, when our body has used up the storage form of carbohydrate, it'll then break down stored fat to use as energy. Specifically, our muscles and heart like using fat as an energy source during fasting. If someone has a difference in how fat is changed into energy, fasting will cause the body to not have enough available energy. This can be dangerous and can damage someone's muscles or heart. Having the right amount and types of fat in our diet is essential to keep us healthy and safe. So it's important to work with your dietitian or physician if you have unique differences in how your body absorbs, transports, builds with, or uses fats for energy. Thank you for watching Gene Clips. Mm -hmm.